that this day Jesus resurrected from the dead. Bwana asifiwe. Na tutaona siku ya leo umuhimu wa Yesu kufa na kufufuka katika maisha ya wale wanaoamini. Bwana asifiwe. We shall see the importance. Kwa nini Yesu afe? Kwa nini Yesu wafufuke? Bwana asifiwe. Na tukiangalia hilo neno, Bwana atatubariki na Bwana atatuteda mema na hatutakuwa tu tuna celebrate tutakuwa tunajua the essence of this day in the name of Jesus tutasoma katika kitabu cha first peter first peter chapter 1 verse 3 and 4 first peter chapter 1 verse 3 and 4 the bible says Blessed be God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ which according to his abundant mercy have begotten us again unto a life hope by the resurrection of Jesus from the dead to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and that fadeth not away reserved in heaven for you bwana asifiwe haleluya yani biblia inasema kwa kufa na kufufuka kwa yesu tumepata tumaini lililo hai tena bwana asifiwe so by the death of jesus and the resurrection of Jesus we have obtained abundant life a life that is full of hope hakuna kitu kizuri na hakuna matumaini mazuri kama kuwa kuna watu wanajua kitu ikiva ni bas bwana sifiwe lakini yule ambaye ako na matumaini yule ambaye anajua ya kuwa death is not the end of God. Bwana asifiwe. Death is not the end of God or the end of those who believe. Bwana asifiwe. Hili ni tumaini la uhai. Sababu hii dunia tunayoishi kuna mambo mengi huwa tunaambiwa tumefika mwisho. Si ndio? Mtu anaweza kuwa mgojwa aende abua na daktari sasa mahali umefika hatuna hope bwana sifiwe mtu anaweza pitia kwa biashara yako aone mahali imefika akwambie sasa dada ama dugu hii biashara vile tunaona hakuna matumaini tena bwana sifiwe mtu anaweza kumwambia yale unapitia kwa doa akwambie kulingana na ile experience niko nayo hata uende kwa marriage counselor akwambie sire marriage nime cancel ikifika safari hii ikifika hapa haiwezi pona lakini sisi tuko na tumaini la uhai walipomuua Yesu walikuwa nafikiria kwa kumuua mwisho wa kile alileta kimefika bwana sifiwe they didn't know ya kuwa kifo haiwezi kumzuia na mimi nataka kuambia mpendwa kupitia kwa kufa na kufufuka kwa Kristo tumepata tumaini abalo ni la uhai tumepata tumaini ya kuwa death does not say it is dead bwana sifiwe yale wanadamu wamesema ni mwisho Mungu husema ni mwanzo na hii ni tabia ya Mungu ya kuwa mahali watu wanasema kuna mwisho God always brings a start again Wakati wana wa Israeli walitoka Misri Farao alielewa mahali wamepitia watapata bahari the Dead Sea bahari ya Sham na wakifika hapo atawashika sababu alikuwa anajua hapo ndipo mwisho. Wacha nikwambie mpendwa, 
We are a peculiar generation. We don't have a net. Wakati adui anasema kanaishia pale. Yesu pasua chia. Farao alipowafuata alikuwa anajua wanadamu uvika mwisho. Kile hakujua hawa si wale tu wanadamu alikuwa anateza kule Misri. Ni wanadamu ambao walikuwa na Mungu katikati yao. Kwa hivyo hawakuwa na mwisho lazima wageendelea mbele. Hata wakati Musa alikuwa analilia Mungu, anamwambia gari ya Farao vile anakuja. Agalia bahari ya Shamu. Mungu akamwambia kwa nini unanililia? Tebelea mbele na safari. Mpendwa, hata sitaki kujua ni nini watu wamekwambia umefika mwisho. I have come to tell you by the resurrection of Jesus we have hope where other men does not have hope we that know Jesus we know there is way where there seems to be no way katika jina la Yesu inawezekana kuna maono yako ambayo yamefika mwisho nimekuja kukuambia usikubali kusema umefika mwisho waliweka Yesu kwa kaburi wakaongeza mawe juu wakaongeza asikari juu wakasema huyu amefika mwisho lakini mawe na asikari hazikumzuia Yesu kuvufuka sijui ni nini wamefanya kwa maisha yako whatever they have done when Jesus says it is time hakuna kitu kinaweza kuzuia in the name of Jesus nimekuja kuku tabiria kupitia kwa kuvuvuka kwa Yesu pokea maisha mapya katika jina la Yesu maono yaliyofika mwisho ninayavuvua tena katika jina la Yesu sisi hatujui kushidwa ni nini bwana Yesu asifiwe na Biblia inasema blessed be God the father of our lord jesus christ which according to his abundant mercy we are living in the time not just the mercy of god but we are living in the time of the abundant mercy of god bwana sifiwe biblia inaendelea kusema has begotten us again we have been begotten again tumezalika tena before tuzaliwe tena tulikuwa wanadamu wanaojua mwisho tulikuwa wanadamu ambao hawana uwezo tulikuwa wanadamu tu wa kawaida kile kilikuwa kinashida wanadamu wa kawaida hata sisi kigetu shida lakini tunashukuru bwana abaye kwa huruma zake tumezaliwa katika abundance mercy of god ametuzaa tena abao sisi ni uzao mpya abao unatebea na kristo abao unatebea na mungu wao he is Emmanuel god together with us mahali wanadamu wengine walizuiwa sisi hatutazuiwa sababu tunabeba mungu wetu anaishi ndani yetu biblia inasema kwa huruma nyingi za bwana tumezalika tena kwa hivyo watu wakikuja kukuambia hauwezi mwambie yule wa kitabu ndiye alikuwa hawezi huyu ni kiumbe mpya haleluya yule wa kitabu ni kweli alikuwa anashidwa yule wa kitabu kweli alikuwa na location aliyozaliwa lakini huyu amezalika katika Kristo Yesu ni mtu ambaye hawezi mvugia kwa location moja ni mtu ambaye huwezi sema haiwezekani magonjo wa madaktari wakinua mikono sisi tunasema anayaweza yote haleluya bwana asifiwe has begotten us again into a life hope by the resurrection of Jesus from dead we are in a life hope kube kuna hope ambayo imekufa lakini yetu 
ni hope iliyo hai bwana asifiwe na anasema fast four to an inheritance incorruptible kupitia kwa Yesu kufa na kufufuka ametufanya tulizi jambo ambalo haliwezi likaharibika tumaini tulilo nalo si la kuharibika the trust we have in god we have born we have been born into an inheritance that is incorruptible bwana asifiwe hii tumaini yetu haiwezi haribiwa haiwezi haribiwa na magonjwa haiwezi haribiwa na umaskini haiwezi haribiwa na prosecution haiwezi hakuna kitu kinaweza haribu na ndio Paulo akasema ni nini kitatuteganisha na upendo wa Bwana akasema je ni uchi akasema la hasha ni kulala ja la hasha ni persecution la hasha we have been born to a hope that is incorruptible it cannot be defiled haleluya bwana sifiwe kwa hivyo si unaona kulikuwa na tumaini kubwa la Yesu kufufuka asige fufuka sijui tungekuwa wapi leo Wacha tusome katika kitabu cha Warumi Romans chapter 6 from 8 to 11 Romans chapter 6 from 8 to 11 Inasema Now if we died with Christ we believe that we will also live in him For we know that since Christ was raised from the dead he cannot die again Death no longer has misery or has power over him. The death he died, he died to sin once and for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. In the same way, count yourself dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. Bwana sifiwe. Yaani Yesu kufa alikufa mara moja na hawezi kufa tena. Bwana sifiwe. Na sababu alikufa na akafufuka na anaishi katika Kristo. Basi neno la Bwana linasema tumekufa ndani yake. Na sababu alipokufa akafufuka anaishi ndani ya Mungu. Nayo neno la Bwana linasema tumekufa na yeye na tumefufuka na yeye tunaishi ndani yake Bwana sifiwe yani tunaishi ndani ya Mungu aliyeshida kifo my sister death haiwezi kutusutua tena haleluya kifo iwe ni ya nini haiwezi kutusutua hata kifo ya economy haiwezi kutusutua magonjwa ya kifo hayawezi kutusutua hey we are living in Christ who conquered death bana sifiwe ukiambiwa saa hii wabiwa ukifaa si unaona kama juzi wakati wanasiasa walikuwa wanagoma beji ulikuwa unaona wamefura hivi sababu wamevaa bullet proof Yaani wanaamini hiyo kaguo haitapita risasi. Bwana sifiwe. Na hata wakigoma wanapanda jua magari yao wanajua risasi ikirushwa sitakufa. Na sisi tunafaa kuwa na boldness ya namna hivyo. Kama vile wamevaa jacket ya bullet proof. Na sisi tuko ndani ya Kristo aliyeshida kifo. Ah unisikii mpendwa tuko ndani ya Kristo aliyeshida kifo hakuna ugonjwa unaweza kutustua hakuna maradhi inaweza kutustua umaskini hauwezi kutustua sababu tunaishi ndani ya Kristo aliyeshida kifo kila mtu anaomba kifo lakini sisi we are another generation We are a new generation that was raised by the death and the resurrection of Jesus. Bwana sifiwe. Sisi hatuwezi shidwa, wapendwa. 
Lazima ikuwe tu reality. You are living in Christ who conquered death. And if we conquer death, there is nothing he can't conquer in your life. Bwana sifiwe. Kile kinapasua jamii zingine hakitapasua yako katika jina la Yesu in the name of Jesus kile kinaharibu jamii ninatangaza kwa jina la Yesu hakitaharibu yako katika jina la Yesu watoto wetu hawataibiwa wataishi ndani ya Kristo pia katika jina la Yesu na muovu hataweza kuwafikia haleluya bwana asifiwe si tuko na tumaini siku ya leo if jesus could not have resurrected basi sisi tugekuwa wakuhurumiwa bwana asifiwe wacha tusome katika kitabu cha waefeso moja waefeso moja 18 mpaka 21 inasema that you may know what is the hope to which you have been called What are the riches of his glorious inheritance in saints and what is the immeasurable greatness of his power toward us Skiza skiza hilo neno What is the immeasurable greatness of his power toward us Yaani sisi tuko na gufu isiyopimika. Sababu ya kufa na kufufuka kwa Kristo, tuko na gufu isiyopimwa. Unajua watu wengi wanaogopa stima, lakini gufu ya stima hupimwa. Unasikiaga watu wamekuambia hii imebeba kilowati fulani. Hii ni thrifes, lakini imebeba moto kiasi fulani. Hii ni generator imebeba moto kiasi fulani lakini yetu haiwezi pimika. He mpendwa gufu unayobeba kupitia kwa kufa na kufufuka kwa Kristo gufu unayobeba kwa maisha yako hakuna chombo kinaweza ipima. Tunaelewana? Bwana asifiwe. Toadas who believe according to the working of his great might that worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead yani unaabiwa hii gufu inafanya kazi kwa maisha yako ndio ile ile gufu ilikuwa inafanya kazi katika Kristo iliyomfufua haya ya mpendwa hii gufu iliyofanya kazi kufufua Yesu iliyodoa jiwe hii gufu iliyofanya kazi kufufua Yesu ilikausha maaskari and the god that was put there jiwe iliwekwa isuie Yesu askari iliwekwa isuie Yesu mupendo hata sisi wiki ambazo simepita tumekuwa tukijifunza kuhusu kupigana nguvu na vita na, na, na nguvu za kiroho bwana asifiwe kama kuna kitu chochote kimewekwa kikulinde ndio usiishi maisha Mungu alikuwekea ah nguvu zilizoondoa jiwe nguvu zilizokaua shama askari siko ndani yako Nguvu ambazo silifanya Yesu asikae kwa kaburi neno la Bwana linasema siko ndani yako. Ah, na kutabiria kwa jina la Yesu, vile Yesu hakuzuiwa kwa kaburi, ninatangaza kwa jina la Yesu, hautazuiwa, ni lazima ukue kile Mungu alikuumba kuwa katika jina la Yesu. Ninatangaza kwa jina la Yesu, ile gufu iliyokausha maasikari, ikausha maagent wote wa shetani wamewekwa kumakiu so that you cannot become what God have said in the name of Jesus kichapo alipopata pale kaburini wakipate hata saa hii kwa maisha yako katika 
jina la Yesu vile askari hawakuzuia Yesu na jiwe alikuzuia Yesu naondoa vizuizi zote ambazo ziliwekwa kwa maisha yako katika jina la Yesu vizuizi za maneno zilizoachiliwa kwa maisha yako ndio sifike destiny yako tunaziondoa kwa jina la Yesu nguvu iliyozufufua Yesu inafanya kazi ndani yetu the same power Hey hallelujah the same power is working in us the same power is working in us maono yaliyofunikwa na shetani asitimie kwa maisha yetu siku ya leo yafufuke in the name of Jesus yafufuke biashara iliyokuwa uweke ikafunikwa na ikazuiwa leo ipate kwa jina la Yesu amani ambayo ulikuwa yu experience katika doa yako ikachukuliwa na shetani ikafunikwa siku ya leo tuatangaza hiyo amani uipate katika jina la Yesu chochote kiliandikwa ni chako na shetani akabadilisha akakifungia kwa kaburi today we declare resurrection in the name of Jesus the same power that resurrected Jesus is working in us in the name of Jesus the bible says the great the great might that worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him in the right hand with the heavenly places far above all rule authority power dominion and above every name that is named not only in this age but the age to come yani hiyo gufu haikuvufua Yesu tu ili mkalisha mahali pa juu na katika kitabu cha wakorosaya tunaambiwa tunakaa pamoja na Kristo mpendwa hii gufu ya ufufuo imekukalisha juu usijirete chini tena katika jina la Yesu when Jesus is resurrected he ascended in the heavenly realm na neno la Bwana linasema Yesu alikalishwa juu ya kila authority juu ya kila principality yani zile principality tulikuwa tunajifundisha wiki mbili zimepita Yesu ameinuliwa juu yake na sisi tumekalishwa pamoja na yeye we are fighting from a higher level Bwana asifiwe we are fighting from a victorious level a higher level the same power that worked in Christ is in us and it has placed us above every power every principality alafu inasema si kwa wakati huu peke yake mpaka kwa wakati ujao it is not for a time it is forever Bwana asifiwe That is how explosive we are. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa kufufuka kwa Yesu, we have the good news. Hallelujah. We have the good news. Tutasoma katika kitabu cha Wafilipi 3:10. Wafilipi 3:10 inasema I may know him and the power of his resurrection and share in his suffering becoming like him in his death sasa huyu ni paulo anasema anaomba anasema ni mchue upendo hili ligekuwa obiletu pia tumchue yesu na nguvu za ufufuo wacha nikwambie mpendwa ukielewa nguvu za ufufuo hakuna kitu kitakupisha hapa duniani Bwana asifiwe. Hata wakati Ibrahim alikuwa anatoa Isaac, alisema nikimtoa Mungu ako na uwezo wa kumfufua. Na sababu alikuwa anaelewa Mungu ako na uwezo wa kumfufua, hangeogopa kumtolea Mungu kile Mungu alisema. When you understand the power of resurrection, you become efficient in obeying the will of God. Bwana asifiwe. 
ile kutochua ile kusema itakuwaje inaondoka because you know there is one that has power in his selection naye paulo anasema ni mjue kristo na nguvu iliyomfufua mpendoa si bwana akupatie kujua nguvu iliyomfufua kristo katika jina la yesu na ukishaelewa inakuwa ni rahisi kumtumikia mungu wacha nikwambie mahali kuna persecution hauwezi kusimama persecution if you don't know the power of resurrection ha hunielewi mambo ambayo yanakuja kukupinga hauwezi kusimama kinyume nayo kama hauelewi kufufuka kwa Kristo bwana asifiwe haleluya bwana asifiwe ninasema kama hauelewi kufu za ufufuo hauwezi kusimama wakati kuna pigamizi lakini wakati unaelewa nguvu za ufufuo wa Kristo Yesu inakuwa rahisi hata kusimama mahali kuna kuna upigamizi bwana asifiwe haleluya haleluya mahali kwingine neno la Mungu linasema hizi gufu silizo mfufua Yesu siko na jina Bwana asifiwe si gufu tu siko na jina na jina la hizi gufu inaitwa roho mtakatifu Bwana asifiwe roho mtakatifu ndiye aliweza kumfufua Kristo katika jina la Yesu haleluya Bwana asifiwe so Uh, tukisoma katika kitabu cha Romans Romans chapter 8 verse 34 Inasema Sorry Romans chapter 1 verse 4 Inasema and Jesus Christ our Lord was sown to be the son of god when god powerfully raised him from the dead by means of the holy spirit bwana asifiwe kwa hivyo mpendwa kama unataka kujulikana wewe ni mwana wa mungu ni lazima upokee roho mtakatifu roho mtakatifu ndio kufu ya kufufua chochote kimekufa kwa maisha yetu bwana asifiwe Without the Holy Spirit Yesu angefufuka Bwana asifiwe Lakini neno la Bwana linatuonyesha hizi gufu zilizomfufua Yesu kutoka kifo ni gufu za Roho Mtakatifu Bwana asifiwe Na Yesu akasema ni lazima niende sababu nisipoenda msaidizi hatatumwa na huo msaidizi ni Roho Mtakatifu Mpendwa ni vizuri upatie Roho Mtakatifu a press in your life to read your life because he is the only power of God that brings resurrection. Wakati Mungu aliupa Adam, si alikuwa matope. Akauba kimtu hivyo lakini ni matope. What brought the difference of transforming matope ikuwe uhai? ni roho mtakatifu bwana asifiwe na wacha nikwambie mpendwa we can celebrate the death and the resurrection of the of Jesus but it will only work to those who surrender to the holy spirit bwana asifiwe when you surrender to the holy spirit yeye ndiye atakuonyesha vile mambo yataenda yeye ni msaidizi biblia inasema akikuja atatufunulia moyo wa baba bwana asifiwe kwa hivyo watu wengi wanaweza kusema we, we declare resurrection but this resurrection will only happen for those who have yielded to the holy spirit how is your relationship with the holy spirit 
Munatembeaje na Roho Mtakatifu? Huyu ndiye gufu ya ufufuo. Bwana asifiwe. Huyu ndiye uponya magocho akiwa ndani yetu. Huyu ndiye huwa anajua kile tunafaa kuombea. Huyu ndiye utufugua macho, anatuonyesha kitu ambacho kilikuwa ch- The Holy Spirit is the power of resurrection. Bwana asifiwe. The Holy Spirit is the power of resurrection. Aliposhuka, hakutaka kujua kama kuna mawe. Hakutaka kujua kama kuna asikali. Bwana asifiwe. Na Biblia inasema hata kuna watu walionekana Jerusalem wamefufuka waliokufa kitabo because when the Holy Spirit comes, life comes. Wakati unaona maisha yako yamekauka, huhitaji mtu wa kuhurumia Unahitaji kuwabia Bwana let the Holy Spirit blow in my life. Akitebea mahali chemichemi za maji sinatoka. Bwana asifiwe. Akitebea mahali Biblia inasema wakati Musa aliweka kijiti chake katika bahari ya Samu kukakuwa na upepo na huo upepo ulikuwa Roho Mtakatifu akategeneza chia mahali hakuna chia. Nani anataka kutengenezewa chia mahali hakuna? This is the work of the Holy Spirit. Bwana asifiwe. Wakati wana wa Israeli waliteta, wakasema hatuja kula nyama, he hatuja nini? Yes, Mungu alituma upepo wake ambaye ni Roho Mtakatifu. Ukabeba squares, wakaletwa wadege, wakajaa hapo, wakakula. Bwana asifiwe. The Holy Spirit brings a transformation into our lives. If we if we declare the resurrection of Jesus and we absent the Holy Spirit the other hii kitu inakuwa ritual tu alikufa akafufuka lakini unaendelea tu na shida zile ulikuja nazo lakini wakati una celebrate kufa na kufufuka kwa Yesu apia roho mtakatifu work in me nihuishe tena yale mambo yalikufa roho mtakatifu yafunue tena kwa maisha yangu it is the holy spirit who brings a difference bana sifiwe holy spirit ndiye alikausha maaskari na kuna mambo tunataka yakaushwe kwa maisha yetu we need the holy spirit bana sifiwe roho mtakatifu ndiye alipigirisha chiwe ah na hilo chiwe malaika wakalikalia na Yesu akaweza kutoka wakati mahali kuna roho mtakatifu Hajui kizuizi Bwana asifiwe. Roho mtakatifu hajui ati hakuna jia, yeye hutengeneza jia. Bwana asifiwe. Haleluya. Bwana asifiwe. So mpendwa, hii ibada hatuwezi maliza bila kuwabia Roho mtakatifu. We surrender our lives to you. Come and do to what you did to Christ and you resurrected him. Katika jina la Yesu. Bwana asifiwe. Haleluya. Tusome tu hiyo Romans 8:34. Sababu tulikuwa tumehitaja tunapomalizia. Inasema Jesus Christ is the one who died more than that who was raised. Who is at the right hand of God? Who is indeed interceding for us? Imagine kama Yesu hakefufuka nani hakekua anatuobea saa hii na mstaki huwa nasimama kutustaki kila wakati bana sifiwe ha we have an intercessor in the name of Jesus hata kama unatuma watu maobi na hawakuobei we have an intercessor Jesus the son of God when he is resurrected Mungu akamweka kwa mkono wa kulia ananiobeaga kila siku bana sifiwe na ndio kwanza mimi siwezi shindwa sababu Kristo ananiombea kila siku bwana sifiwe siku ya leo kuna mawe itapigilishwa kwa maisha yetu katika jina la Yesu we are coming out of this house beginning new people in the name of Jesus everything that has been stolen in our lives being restored in Jesus name and we shall be completely different from the way we came in this place in the name of Jesus
kufufuka kwa Yesu kuna tupatia tumaini ya kuwa kifo sio mwisho bwana sifiwe sisi hatujui kushidwa ni nini kama kifo iliwe kwa chini ni nini jine inaweza tushida hakuna bwana sifiwe there is hope for those who believe in jesus bwana sifiwe and today he is at the right hand of god seated there interceding for me we shall overcome we have an intercessor in the name of jesus nataka tusimame mbele za bwana tujiachilie kwa roho mtakatifu wa katika jina la yesu because we are remembering that this day jesus resurrected from the dead